UK's Jack Hardcastle is the latest player to join the WPT Champions Club after beating a field of 888 entrants to win WPT Montreal online. For the first time, WPT Montreal was played out virtually on Party Poker. And now here we are with the champ, 24 hours after securing his biggest poker tournament cash to date of just over $447,000. Jack, have you gotten much sleep or are you still celebrating your win? Yeah, I got some sleep because I had a couple of bottles of wine afterwards, so uh, I was doing okay after that. But <laughs> Jack, there was a huge hand early on that got you to the chip lead. With Kings against King Queen, tell us a little bit about that hand against Charles Chatta. Yeah, so obviously that was very fortunate. Um, I think what probably would have happened normally is that he was just going to flat the King Queen suited there uh, versus the three bet because I don't think there's too much merit to jamming when he calls and I'm bluffing. He dominates all my top pairs with something as strong as King Queen suited. So him jamming is an interesting decision because I don't think it actually gains too much, but it was very fortunate for me, of course, because I had Kings, so that was nice. <laughs> now, how did you feel about getting bluffed into for the title with two pair against his jack high? Uh, yeah, it was pretty nice to just have a snap called on the river, but um, I probably was cooling down anyway because I picked up a sizing tail on him, which was that he was sizing down turns to leave more on river when he was bluffing, which is, I think, like a classic sort of old school play where you want to make everything look a bit scarier, but I, I'd seen that in a couple of other hands. Uh, but it was nice to just have the decision taken away from me, I guess. I just had to cool river and that was it. Now, Jack, you seem to have had a bit of success on the World Poker Tour. Tell us about your career run so far on the WPT. Yeah, I've run uh, pretty good on that schedule, I think. So I won the WPT 500 in Nottingham in October 2019 for 100... Well, it says 100,000 on Hendon Mob, but we chopped it. But I'll claim it as 100,000 because it looks better. And then, <laughs> um, and then in January 2020, before Corona hit everything, um, I found a table of 10k millions in Nottingham for 130k. Do you have any plans yet for all this prize money you've been winning? I guess it's very Corona dependent, to be honest. I, at the moment, I'd love to go out and travel and go to Mexico and spend months doing nothing on a beach. But I, I feel like at the moment it's probably a bit difficult. I'm probably just going to stay here for a bit and just, you know, grind Sundays, study with friends in the week, just the usual stuff, but just not take it as, you know, such an intense grind for the, for the meantime. I know that you've played some live stops on the World Poker Tour in the US and Europe. Uh, which ones are your favorite so far? I mean, the WPT 500s are unbelievably good. They're so good in terms of value and, not, and then also structure as well. I mean, I'm probably biased because I won one in like 2019. So I was just like, yeah, WPT 500s, they're great. But I'm biased about it too because I made the structure. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> had to do a plug there for me. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Matt, did you pay off Jack before this interview to say I that? I did not. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. No, not at all. Tell us a little bit about yourself outside of poker. What do you do to, to maintain balance between your time off the field? It's a bit tougher, I think, these days as it is for everyone because normally I'd just be traveling quite a lot of the time. I go on holiday with like a bunch of my friends and then also just like semi grind houses, which is, you know, like play poker when you want to, but mostly just do whatever you want outside of it. So, like, you know, like, clubbing with my friends and all of that sort of stuff. Your name is going to be added to the Mike Sexton Champions Cup. How does it feel to be a part of so many legendary players and having your name there with them? Absolutely a great privilege because Mike Sexton did so much for the game. But again, all I did is I just won a tournament. Like It could happen to anyone. I don't, I don't put too much um, emphasis on just who got luckiest one day. So. Well, Jack, included in your prize is a $15,000 seat into the next tournament of champions presented by Barcarat Crystal and the belt that is unique to Playground. It was a huge highlight actually for Mike Sexton when he won his title there at Montreal. So that's something that you now share with the legend himself. Congratulations, Jack, and welcome to the WPT Champions Club. Thank you very much.